Welcome to Vegan and Go Go. This is a vegan cooking show. My name is Jess, and today we're going to be making some minestrone. And um, I've already got my pot heating up, so I'm going to add some olive oil and just start going with our ingredients. Um, this starts out by basically sauteing some onions and celery and carrots. And I've got about um, one rib of celery, and I've just sliced it up a little bit thinly. I've also got some, uh, just a small onion chopped up, diced up, and also I have some baby carrots. You can use maybe like two whole carrots. I've got enough baby carrots to make about two-thirds cup um, chopped up. So we're just going to add that right into our pan. And we're going to let this cook about um, five minutes or so. In about a minute or two, I'm going to add the garlic because I don't want it to get burnt. So we're going to um, just let this cook for a little while and then add our garlic. And this minestrone is going to have um, a tomato base with some vegetable stock. And if you don't have vegetable stock, you can go ahead and try to make this with water. I don't know if it'll, uh, I haven't tried it with water, but I'm sure it won't um, change the flavor too much. So um, you can go ahead and give that a shot if you're in a pinch. And I'm going to use some basil um, to season this. And so if you have um, some stewed tomatoes or um, Italian flavored diced tomatoes, canned tomatoes, you can use those and I think that would add a lot more dimension to the flavor. And in this recipe I'm adding some kidney beans and that's going to help um, increase the fiber and also um, some of the protein. And I really like beans, kidney beans are good. And you can use red kidney beans or you can use white kidney beans. So, Okay, so we're going to let this saute for a little while. Just stir it occasionally and uh, just till it softens up a little. And then I'm going to add my garlic. Alright, so I'm going to add my tomatoes. And I've got about three cups of the vegetable broth. Just pour that right in. And I'm going to go ahead and add my kidney beans. And, and some basil. Just give that a good stir. And we are going to um, let this come to a boil. And after it's reached that boil, we're going to um, turn it down and let it simmer for about 20, 20 to 25 minutes. And uh, at that point, we're going to add probably some spinach, some pepper, maybe some salt, and some macaroni. And so in the meantime, while this is boiling and simmering, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my noodles. And I'm just using some spiral noodles. You can use shells, elbow macaroni, whatever you want to use. I just happen to have this on hand, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, so I'm just going to let that cook while we are um, doing our simmering, okay? So we'll see you in about uh, 20 minutes. Okay, so we let it simmer for about 20 minutes, and I'm going to add about a cup of some frozen spinach, and you can use fresh spinach, just tear it up, um, and that'll be fine. I'm just going to add that in. Um, give it a stir, let it um, come back up to temperature. And we're also going to add our macaroni or um, pasta. And if you are going to eat this, let's say over a couple of days, and you're going to have it for leftovers, um, you may want to um, just cook your pasta and then serve the soup over the pasta. Because if the pasta sits in the soup, um, it might get a little mushy. Um, so we're actually going to eat this pretty soon. So I'm just going to throw my pasta in. And I got about, I think I cooked up about a cup of pasta. You can do more or less depending on um, how much how much carbs you want. Let that cook. Throw in my spirals. And this is pretty much done. So um, we are going to enjoy this. And I hope that you are too. So thanks for joining us. And um, if you'd like to check out the recipe, you can go to veganagogo.com. If you want to email us, you can do that at fans at veganagogo.com. So uh, we will see you next time.
Have a nice night.